Hello again my friends, so it seems as though we now know how to get the exotic linear fusion rifle Arbalist. Thanks to a cheeky bit of data mining, it looks as though this weapon can be acquired during the new spring event The Revelry, which goes live April 16th. So let's have a look at the quest steps that eventually lead to this new kinetic exotic. Okay then, so for step 1 you need to speak to Ava Levante in the tower, yes she returns for the Revelry event. Step 2, choose a mood, you need to use something called the Reveler's Tonic to apply good moods, whatever that means. Step 3, a modest request, you need to accept a reverie bounty from Ava Levante. Step 4, into the woods, you need to clear branches of the Verdant Forest, that's basically a reskin version of the Infinite Forest. And then for step 5, the reverie continues, you need to return to Ava Levante in the tower to unlock reverie bounties. Now reverie bounties refresh every day and include completing objectives in the Verdant Forest. Like I said, the Verdant Forest is basically a reskin version of the Infinite Forest where you'll need to kill enemies to progress. So yeah, some examples of these daily reverie bounties include the following. Get super Super ability final blows in the Verdant Forest, get melee final blows in the Verdant Forest or raids, and defeat a boss in the Verdant Forest with four pieces of the new Revelry armor equipped. So basically killing stuff inside the Verdant Forest. Now according to data mind info, each Revelry bounty rewards you with a new currency, which is still classified. Now each bounty once completed drops 25 of this new material and you need 300 of this material to purchase this weapon from Ava. So that's 12 bounties in total to get this new exotic. Now I've left a link to the Reddit post that leaked this Arbalist info if you want to check it out for yourself. It's worth bearing in mind that leaks no matter how credible should be taken with a pinch of salt because, you know, Bungie may change things up before the revelry drops. And just in case you were curious about the kind of loot you'll be getting from the new revelry engram, well check this out. Okay then, so Arc Week has now gone live and it's, well, it's basically just a huge quality of life patch. Buffed supers, increased drop rates for some of the game's rarer items, and a whole heap of bug fixes. I've left a link to all the patch notes in the description box below if you want to read them for yourself. There's also three new Arc emotes that you can purchase from Tess, but aside from that, there's not really much new stuff to actually grind for. And yes, you can combine the new Arc emotes with other emotes to make stupid looking emotes, which let's be honest, that's the best thing about emotes, to look idiotic in front of your mates. Let's move on. Now, if you haven't already got the exotic heavy machine gun Thunderlord, you can visit Amanda Holiday to kick off this quest. It lasts from April 9th to April 23rd. So yeah, if you haven't already got it, you've got two weeks starting from today to get it. It's actually a pretty cool quest. You get to revisit the Cosmodrome and get a little teary-eyed and nostalgic about these snowy environments. I, I enjoyed it. Now, once you've completed all the quest's objectives, you get to collect Thunderlord from everyone's favorite blue bar steward, the Cryptarch. Now, I've got to say, the Thunderlord Lord is an amazing weapon so if you haven't already got it now is the perfect time do yourself a favor mate go grab it now there are also four new exotic catalysts to grind for and players have already been lucky enough to get them to drop yeet now the rat king catalyst has a chance to drop from nightfalls and vanguard strikes to unlock the catalyst you need the help of clan mates because get this only pve kills by fighting members count towards the objective once completed the masterworks rat king buffs recoil direction and aim assist and refreshes health on invisibility after a kill reload now the Saurus Regime Catalyst has a chance to drop from the Crucible. It requires 300 Crucible kills to unlock and it gives you an increased chance for kills to regen health. The other new Catalysts are for the Prospector and Hardlight, which both have a chance to drop from Nightfall and Vanguard Strikes. Now guys, check out this crazy little exploit. Destiny players discovered that Season 6 Pinnacle weapons earned after the patch went live, weapons like the Recluse for example, could be collected and dismantled for enhancement cores like infinitely. Collect the weapon, dismantle for 7 enhancement cores and rinse and repeat until you have literally hundreds of effing enhancement cores. Now don't get too excited because Bungie has already temporarily disabled the acquisition of Season 6 Pinnacle weapons until a fix can be deployed. The gameplay you see 
see here is from Hush Spesh. I've left a link to his video in the description box below. Man, I wish I'd have caught this exploit before Bungie got wind of it. As it stands, I've got like minus three enhancement cores. I could have done with a couple of hundred extra. F and me. Now guys, if you want to find out about all the latest Destiny 3 news, yeah, that's right, I said effing Destiny 3, click the on-screen image. Subscribe and turn on notifications for all the latest Destiny news. And thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We'll speak again very soon, my friends. Thank you so much.